I want to build my own web server in Common Lisp. What should I use? The common answer to this question is Hunchentoot. Which is fine because Hunchentoot is nice. The problem is that it's really low level and after some time, if you notice that this is not really what you needed, you are bound to it because all of the software use function from Hunchentoot. When you are in Node, you usually don't use directly the HTTP library. You use a framework like Express that wraps it. We could do the same in Common Lisp. The web server is a low-level component. One can choose Anchentoot, but it's not the only one. For example, one may want to try Who, which is optimized for performance. But we don't use it directly. Instead, we choose a wrapper. Clack is the wrapper we were looking for. It offers a minimal set of features to start a web server, but it is not one itself. It just offers a common interface to call the most common web server for common Lisp. Interfaces exist for Hunchentoot and Who, but any user can write his own. For example, because this is all open source software. Clack offers the Clack app, Clack offers the Clack app function that takes as input an handler. Let's see an example. We can take the main example from the GitHub page. First of all, we need Clack, and then we can define the handler. By default, Clack uses Hunchentoot. What this handler does, it simply returns a response with HTTP status 200 and the string hello Clack. And we can see the result if we open localhost 500. Now, let's try to make a lot of requests. And let's copy the result. Now, I also load the who. To install who, you need to install the libev library. For example, on my current system, this is the libev-devil package. Now I stop the server and make the variable undefined. This way I can define a new server, this time using the U web server. As we can see, nothing has changed in the page, but if I run the benchmarks again, we can see that the number of requests per second is almost the double. And all we have to do is add this keyword. What in a real web server, what actually changes is the handler, which is exactly the same even if we swap the web server. The main object Clack offers is the environment, which contains all the data we would expect in an HTTP request. The environment is this parameter. Let's try to print it out. In this case, I have to use the backtick because I want to evaluate a function here and I just want to print as a string the environment. I have to stop the server, make it unbound and start it again. This is a plist in which we can see that it gives us the method, the headers, the request URI and all the information that are contained in the HTTP request. The problem is that Clack is still too low level. All the commonly used programming languages offer some way of writing a modular service in which the request passes through multiple components and each of them adds some functionalities. I think about middlewares in Node.js, Ring in Clojure, Plug in Elixir and so on. Luck is the main choice in the world of Common Lisp for a middleware system. We can see that currently the response header is quite empty and also in Archiviation we don't have anything. Assume we want to implement a session, so we need to store a cookie with the current session. For this, a luck middleware exists. We start with an application which is basically the same as the current one. It just prints something on the screen. But then we add multiple middlewares. In particular, we add the one for session and one to offer static files. 
The last one is an example on how to do a custom middleware. In this example, we first proceed with rendering the response and then we do something in the end. For our example, we can remove this one. The last middleware is our own app. And this time we do clack up of app. If we look at the response this time, we can see that a cookie was set. We can also see it in archiviation. The responsible of this cookie is this middleware. We can also try to show some static files. I just create a file index.html which contains the sentence static file. Now let's try to open slash public slash index.html. I created it in the wrong directory. Let's try again and we can see that it works. Many middlewares exist for common tasks, but one can write its own. This way it becomes easier to share components. With LAC we have quite a complete toolset to write a web server. The last fundamental component we need is a way of dealing with routing, because at the moment we are still looking at the HTTP request and response objects, which are, again, too low level. Ningle is a minimal framework but offers a convenient way of dealing with routes. We can see that it overloads the setf function to assign a handler to different routes. For more example on how to use it, I suggest you go and look the videos on HTMX in this channel. Moreover, it can be used to lack, to take all the advantages we listed before. Lispers often tends to reinvent the wheel. In front of those libraries, one may think, I could do it too. The result is that there are a lot of libraries born, but that, after some time, become unmaintained. The suggested libraries are not really battle-tested, but they provide useful features. The documentation is little, but everybody can improve it. And moreover, they are currently maintained. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe.